Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I've got for you a really good tip that can give some of your current presentations an entirely new look. It adds that little something special that might get you some additional bites. It's something I've been doing since last winter when I came across this and I've applied it to a lot of different techniques with a ton of success. So I wanna share this little tackle hack with you. It's something you might find pretty interesting and I'm willing to bet you that if you live in a place where the water does not freeze over, you probably have never heard of this and you probably don't have a local place to get it. You'll probably have to go find them online from an ice fishing shop. That's right, an ice fishing shop that you can apply this to your open water fishing. Before I share this little tidbit with you, I do want to remind you, I do have a members only page as well. We do additional monthly videos. We do a monthly live stream. You can have direct access to me. Check those out by going to my YouTube homepage and clicking the join button. All the information you need is there. And at the same time, if you want to support the channel in another means, uh, just hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button for the video as well if you enjoyed today's video. Uh, but let's get right into this little tidbit. So a little background story. You know, I'm a tackle junkie, always walking around tackle shops. And last year, I was walking through a northern Wisconsin tackle shop in the middle of winter. And if you're not familiar with northern tackle shops, a lot of times what happens is they do a complete reset, meaning they take all their open water stuff, they put it in the back room, and they become pretty much entirely ice fishing stuff. And they do that because open water fishing tackle doesn't sell during the winter when we've got four to six months of hard water. So... I still enjoy checking out tackle shops. I was walking around this one tackle shop and came across this little guy right here called a silky. This is a clam outdoors little bait. And the idea behind this is you put this on your little ice jigging uh, spoons and hooks for panfish. It, you can get a lot of different presentations by these little silk trailers. So you can make your panfish jigs, your bluegill, your crappie, your perch jigs look a little different. Really cool idea. I don't do that much ice fishing, so it doesn't do much for me. But when I saw it, I instantly started thinking about ways that I can kind of uh, fine tune some other techniques and give my some techniques that I love to fish a different appearance. So I want to show you how I do this. So as an example... I'm going to rig this little red and white silky trailer onto a Ned rig. Uh, now, I want to point out, you can put these on almost any form of hook, assuming you can slide this little red bead up, in, up to the top of your hook shank. So in this case, this is a Z-Man shrooms, finesse shrooms hook, perfect for your uh, little Ned rigs. In this case, you can see there is a little bit of a uh, bait keeper on there, but because the little bead is a rubber little bead or silicone, not really sure what it is, you can actually slide it up over that little bait keeper. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Now, generally, you know, you can slide it if you want. You can slide it right up the middle of the bait. You know, there is a hole there, so I've just put it the hook point in the hole. You can definitely slide it right up using that hole. Now, you don't have to go in the hole. You can, because that's a little silicone bead, you can really put, put the hook point anywhere you want, which is one of the cool things with it. Because it is so small, you want to make sure you don't bury the hook in your finger. Uh, <clears throat> so I've slid the bead slightly up the hook shank so you can see. Now, because that bead does uh, stretch, I can push it right up and over that bait keeper just snapped up above that. I'll push it all the way to the top of the bait. And now I've got a beautiful little finesse uh, silk trailer. So one of the things I want to point out here, a couple of things, the material is silk, hence the name silky. The cool thing with silk is it is very, very, uh, pliable in the water, meaning it has a ton of movement and it tends to spread away from each other. So it's not like some other materials that want to actually cling to each other in the water. This stuff actually separates and I would show you what it looks like in the water, except I don't have a fish tank here 
and it's pouring rain outside so I'm not going down the river where you got dirty water but here is a beautiful little trailer that I've just or a skirt trailer that I've just added now a couple things I want to point out this is the length that it came as if you want you can shorten it or lengthen it by simply grabbing the material and pulling in wonder you know pulling either up or down so if I want I can pull it and I can get a longer skirt now you can pull it to the point where the material is all the way up to the bead if you want to make it longer at that point I'm just gonna go <clears throat> I'm going to attach or uh, slide up my little Ned rig here slide it up give it the little pull that Z-Man's like to do and you can see in this case now I've got I've added just a little bit of bulk a little bit of finessiness to my Ned rig works absolutely great so here's one one I really like to use is just a brown color and you can see I have pulled the material out a lot further this is a PB and J with a brown color they have all kinds of different colors so this is the silky this is the brown color uh, one I really like to use chartreuse and white I like to throw the red and white a bunch. Uh, definitely a little, just a little thing you can do to add a little bit of flair to your bait. Something that a lot of other guys are not doing. Very, very few guys are doing. But it doesn't just have to be your Ned Rigs. You can do it. You want to apply it. So this is a RoboWarm rebarb hook. You can slide one up this. Attach your drop shot. And you got a little skirted drop shot bait. You can do it pretty much with any hook out there assuming you can slide that tiny little rubber bead up and over the hook keeper to get it up to the top of the bait very simple little thing to do uh check them out i don't i don't even know if i mean they won't have them at tackle warehouse so i'll i'll put it up there you guys will have to search for it yourself but it is the clam pro tackle silky jig trailer uh definitely a cool little thing to apply to some of your open water bass techniques, something that you can do to give your bait a little additional flair, something I've done now for the past year, almost a year, and had a lot of really good success with. Uh, so I'm sharing it with you guys because we have no secrets on this channel. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Stay tuned, new video coming out tomorrow.